Hi everybody, this is David Cannon with Cannon Water Technology and today I wanted to go over the basic um, uh, login uh, procedure and how to use our e-report software for operators. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to cannonwaterereport.com Again, you can see that at the top of the screen, cannonwaterereport.com and log in. So you'll enter in your username that's been provided. And once you're logged into the system, the very first thing you'll see is sort of the, uh, the home screen. And this will give you a few different choices. The, ver the first thing you're gonna wanna look for is this tab called facilities and in the drop down you will either see just your facility if we've configured it uh, for each operator and only the facility that they're responsible for or if you're a supervisor you may see all of the uh, facilities that are related to this account and so in this case um, I'm just going to go ahead and pick one I think I'll go with this one here 10-01 BF CISC courthouse in Fresno and so what happens next is you'll see uh, the next tab which is maintenance building slash HVAC water treatment system and that's really that's all that's there so now we know that we're you know on this account uh, and for this equipment set so for you guys uh, the thing that you'd most likely be doing is either viewing reports and you can see all the reports for say the last 365 days or you can create a new report and you would click on the operator report so let's just start with view reports and I'll show you just a couple of test reports that are in there and what you'll notice here is is this one here just has a number assigned to it and that's a finalized report however this port here is still in draft mode uh, so you can continue to edit the reports when that while they're in draft mode once you finalize the report it kinda locks it in and it stays in the system forever but in the draft report we can keep editing until we save a final and I'll show that to you when we create an operator report okay so creating an operator report we're going to click the create report button click operator and now you'll be presented with the uh, basic operator report and we can set up your tests as needed I'm not sure why I'm getting uh, this message right now Let me go back at a past report that had some history on it so we'll go into this draft report okay so in this report we have some parameters set for the various systems that are in place at this location we have you know pH and it's broken down into the test type and then the system or component that we're testing for so in this case we have makeup water we have a cooling tower we have a chilled water loop and we have a hot water loop in this building that we're recording parameters on and we can add or subtract from this list uh, whatever systems you have if you don't see the test that you're currently running just get a hold of uh, one of us here at Canon Water Technology and we will add those tests or train or change the parameters and set points for those particular tests if we have to adjust a range we can easily do that in the back end of the system but for this application, let's just go ahead and uh, edit this, um, this file. So because it's still in a draft format, I have the opportunity up here at the top to hit Edit Draft. Now I can go in here and I can change each one of these parameters. So let's say I'm running the, uh, the pH on the cooling tower and it's actually you know, 9.2 instead of 8.2. I can just change that value and uh, tab out of it and go to the next test and let's say that one is actually 9.5 and this one's you know 8.5 I'm just guessing 
that that's the uh, the range. But the control range is listed here in green. Now, now, if for some reason we were outside the control range, let's say our pH was low, say it was around a six for some reason, you'll see that it's now highlighted in red because we're below the eight uh, pH value. And so that would be sort of a warning indication that that's out of range. And we're probably gonna wanna do something about that. And in that case, we'll have an, uh, an opportunity to add uh, some notes on that particular um, value. So we can click into the box. And now we look here, we're at hot water closed pH. We can say, you know, pH is very low need to address issue and whatever you know that's going to be we could you know we could put those notes here and um, and then we can uh, you know click away from that now where that information is going to end up going it should go down below in our uh, pH so we have a red pH here uh, for the hot water closed loop and it says pH is very low need to address issues that gets automatically ended added to the report um, and we can edit these at any time so we can go in and you know take that out if if need be or um, you know get rid of that that particular parameter but let's go ahead and uh, close that up for now it says pH is is high or excuse me low um, and we go on doing each one of the tests the same way so if the you know the makeup water conductivity was you know 150 can change that the cooling tower connectivity is you know 1500 uh, let's yeah that should be fine um, so on and so forth um, 1400 is okay this is high let's go to um, 1400 on that let's see here these control ranges seem a little off minus 3 to 1500 seems odd to me so I have to adjust that but we can fine-tune this along the way um, if you're running a calcium hardness test, uh, we can enter parameters there. If we have turbidity, I mean, all of these different tests can be added in. Uh, they can be either uh, have a control range or just record only. So in this case, free chlorine is parts per million. We'll say we measure that at, you know, 0.2 ppm's. It's just a record only message, so it's not going to turn a different color if it's outside of parameter because there's no parameter set point been entered. So other things we can do in the report is if we want to put in an opening comment, if we want to drop in um, information, you know, like a picture. Say we took a picture of, of something, we can add that and then upload it into the system. Um, we can say, you know, something like, uh, you know, checked, you know, chemical pumps, chemical pumps, working, type today working um, correctly and it does have the ability to do spell check and we can you know edit and do those kinds of things so all that can go into a report we can add a PDF file if we needed to add some sort of attachment to the report um, you can put in your your closing comments um, you know whatever you want to say in yeah, the closing comments, you know, all systems tested normal. No further action. So you can go ahead and just add in that infor information to the report. Once you're done, you can hit save draft and then you can view it. So you might want to view the completed report, see how it looks. And um, if this is what you want, it looks exactly the way you know you um, you want it to. Go ahead and you can you can save that as a, a final. Let's see where we can do that. Go back. There should be a way to save it as a final. It's leading me here. Still in draft mode. Save final. Here it is, right up here. 
So if I want, if that's done, I've checked my spelling, everything looks fine, then I go ahead and say final, and then that'll become a, a final record. I don't want to do that right now because this information isn't accurate. It's just for testing purposes. But that's really the basis of it, of what we want to do today. I will be making a few more videos that'll go into more advanced features, um, how to run reports. It's not really, uh, won't be able to run a report at this time because we don't have enough data in the system to make the reports you know, look good. But after a few months when you guys enter in more data and have more parameters set, we'll be able to run trends reports, we'll be able to run a system history report, uh, those types of things. We do have the ability to connect uh, cooling tower controllers to the system. Uh, that's something that may happen in the future as you guys upgrade your equipment. And then the data will flow in continuously, things like conductivity, pH, we can automatically calculate your cycles. We can uh, calculate the total volume coming from your water meters. We can look at level sensors on the chemical tanks so we know when you're getting low and it's time to get those restocked. That type of information can come into a connected controller. But that's primarily it. If you guys need any extra tests added or parameters changed, please get a hold of us here at Cannon Water Technology. My name is David Cannon. You can contact me anytime uh, by phone, area code 916-315-2691. That's 916-315-2691. Or email me directly, david at cannonwater.com. Thank you.